We love lasagna around this house, but I do not like taking three hours to make it. So this is my lazy lasagna. It's like a pasta version, but it's so good. Got all the cheese in it and all the pasta and the sauce. Start by getting a large pot of water boiling with salt. And when I say large, I really do mean large, guys. Then we're going to chop up one onion, eight ounces of mushrooms, and as much garlic as your heart desires. This was about four cloves, but whichever garlic amount you like. We're going to use rigatoni, but you can use any pasta that has ridges on it. The ridges are important because they will catch all the good sauce. We're going to grate up about eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. Once your pasta is done, remove half a cup of the pasta water. Strain your pasta, and then we're going to start browning up one pound of your favorite sausage. This is hot sausage. Halfway through, we're going to add in our mushrooms and onions. In the last minute, we're going to add in our garlic a little bit later. To a bowl, you're going to add everything you see on the screen. As you can see, this was my mushroom and onion bowl. Save on your dishes, guys. And we're going to mix that together and set it aside. This will be our topping for our lazy lasagna. Once it's all mixed together, I do taste it and make sure all my seasonings are correct. We added in our garlic, cook for another minute, and then we're going to add in two jars of your favorite pasta sauce. These are 24 ounces in whichever pasta sauce you like. Let it simmer for 10 minutes, taste and adjust any salt, pepper, or garlic, and then stir in your cooked pasta. And this is what I mean when you need a large pot. This will be nice and full and overflowing if you do not have a big enough one. Top it off with that ricotta and spread it around, and then top it off with your 8 ounces of shredded mozzarella cheese. We're going to place the lid on and bring this to a medium-low simmer and let all your cheese melt. I did top it with some fresh basil from my garden, but this is optional. I just like how pretty it looks. I hope you enjoyed. The full written recipe for this is up on my website, and I'll see you next time on Bailey's Kitchen.